Persona 5, I burn your life. Don't watch me coming through the trap because I hit you inside. I'm wild and I'm young. Nigga. I'm wild and I'm dumb. What? Shut up. <laughs> Why are you coming at me like this? Why you gotta be so rude? Because you ain't got no bars, son. Bruh. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> Anyways. If you guys did not know, you might be like, oh, what is this? What is this? Top 10 part 2. Where's part 1? It's on my channel. So be sure you want to see our first five uh, hopes go ahead check it out on my channel but without further ado she know take them away okay i'm about to take you all the way back all right so in the last top five we gave well the, 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 not the last top five <laughs> man i mean this just seemed like it's a dragon ball z episode <laughs> uh, but like in the last part of this top 10 uh we talked about a lot of different things so now this is the continuation of our uh, top 10 and uh yeah you're gonna get me and jammer's personal thoughts and personal opinions on our top 10 hopes and wants for persona 5 um today i'm gonna start off with number five number five is an enhanced battle combat system i said an enhanced battle system enhanced combat system same difference Ta tomato tomato <laughs> <laughs> but like basically what I mean by that is if you guys don't know uh, Persona has the the standard turn by turn uh, RPG style like Pokemon like the original Final Fantasy you know I attack I use some speed up items I wait for my opponent to attack you know I'll speed my opponent I keep beating his ass yada 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 you pretty much understand it but it's a new generation we got new engines coming with the PlayStation 4 you know we got some fire shit like you know what I mean like if you guys see the new Final Fantasy coming out it's more interactive it's more engaging they try to make it like Kingdom Hearts but at the same time there are previous Final Fantasy games that have this turn based um, system but it still has like this more interactive uh, enhanced combat system because you can still walk around even though you kind of have to wait for certain moves to start up charge up as well as xenoblade if you have played xenoblade before there's this option for you to like to set all these different moves but you kind of gotta wait for the moves to go up and like i can understand like them adding like an auto attack into persona and but also having it where you can use your personas uh to have like different moves that way you can kind of control the persona get to know the persona become one with the persona you know what i mean because like before it was just kind of like a pokemon you know i had my persona on the field and i was like eh. Pikachu use Thunderbolt. <laughs> Do it now! <laughs> but like, you know, it, it, it's, it's really strange. Um, so yeah, that's the number six on, well, that's number five on, why I say number six? Uh, dyslexic, bruh. <laughs> but it's number five on the list. And uh, yeah, Gemma number four. Um, real quick, I, yeah, I know that a lot of people, some people are real dense. They don't like going to this enhanced combat system. They want to keep their whole, you know, turn base. But I think it's time for change. I think it's time for change. Anyway, on to number four. I want a new feature that just we've never seen before. You know, I, w I couldn't think of something specific because I don't. I just, I just couldn't. I just want them to surprise us with something. You know how so like a Street Fighter Five a cell phone, bro. And you could just highlight <laughs> these niggas. Not even. I need something more in depth. Something like you know Street Fighter Five how they added the V trigger type thing. Like then they were really didn't talk about that or anything. I just want something they haven't talked about. They're keeping secret from us, and they're gonna show it to us whenever they're ready to show it. Show it to us. You know, I just want a new feature that kind of maybe even changes up how we play persona you know that's just what i, I mean at this point the whole game is kind of secret they don't tell <laughs> for us real, anything for real push back push back push back but anyways number three on this list we have character customization Wait, now i bet you guys what? are wondering what? yeah what? Listen, what the hell are you talking about son? listen listen i bet you guys are like nigga we know who the main character is shut your ass up but nah i don't mean as in a character customization where you can completely change the character like 100 percent like i'm talking about like you know have some type of easter eggs from uh, a different anime or different uh genres that the game has also like the game company has also created uh basically like showing like you know how they tie in like the other games too because like if you played like sword art online lost song there's like god eater like you know easter eggs in there for like costumes but it doesn't necessarily change the character you know it's Kirito. You still see Kirito's face. You can't change his hair. You can't change his eyes. You can't change his body features. But you know, like, hey, one of his outfits is like God Eater. You know, maybe they could get like um, a, a Yosuke's jacket or, or a U jacket or something like that. Or somebody from like the previous Persona games. Um, you get like one of their clothes. Like something to make the character kind of uh, like distinguishable from like everybody else's character. So if I'm doing a playthrough, you know, and I see this guy doing a playthrough, he has the normal clothes on, but I can have on Yu's old high school jacket or something like that you know something like to make it a little bit different um not like you know the normal 
the normal normal. You It'd know what I mean? Cool just running like, around. If you can get like just go through dungeons and find unlockable clothes as well. Yeah, cool. like unlockable clothes. Not 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 something something where you can completely like change the character because who wants to change the character? That's the whole point of Persona. Getting mm -hmm. to know these characters and becoming one with them, not making your own character. But like, you know, I just want that. That's not necessarily a a, a character customization, but it's just like uh I guess um a character distinguisher. Character More editor like, or something like that. Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. But anyways, Gemma with number two. Well, what I, my number two is kind of could tie into yours. You know how you said the, the whole Gaudier DLC for Lost Song. I want DLC content. You know, we're in a new generation where there's, it's known to have DLC content. While sometimes DLC content is annoying because like, oh, they left out half the game. I just want stuff like, something like he said, maybe you can add in clothes. They had to take clothes from... Uh, I don't know, Persona 4, from God Eater, from completely different games, something like that. Not even just customization, but just any type of DLC. Maybe DLC missions, DLC add to the story, you know, stuff like that. I want to see added content onto the game because I know, I don't think a single Persona has ever had some type of content. I might be wrong, but I'm just thinking because, you know, all these Persona games are pretty old and, you know, PS2 era, you didn't really have, <laughs> you didn't have DLC at all. So PS3, you did, but not as much. So, PS4 era, that every game has DLC for the most part. Every big game is going to have some type of DLC because they're just trying to milk money. But I don't want them to milk money from us. I want them to actually love what they're doing and actually just give us some good, meaningful DLC content. Number one! Oh no! One, 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 one. Bruh. If you ever cut me off like that again, I'm going to smack I was shit adding on to the hype. Man. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but hey. Number one is something that you guys know Persona 4 already, but the thing with it is this time I wanted to have a more player interactive story. By what I mean by player interactive, I can't even talk. But <laughs> what I mean by player interactive story, basically I want to see you know like you get more options to choose what you want to say. Like when it comes to having a conversation between people, like there were some points in Persona where you got to choose little knickknacks, but I feel like it, it didn't really affect anything. You know what I mean? Like it may, it probably affected like your school grades, but I'm talking about like hanging out with your friends. If you really don't feel like something they're saying is like incorporated to you, you should have the option to say, "Well, we should do this." Blah 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 blah. blah. And then like, as you guys know, Persona was one of those games where if you played it a certain way, if you answered the ending questions wrong like the story would change because there was multiple endings but like with this i want persona to have this um complete vibe where it's like anything you can say could alter the storyline like you have to be really like choicey about what you say you know what i mean I, and i want it to be like not where it's like they have these like one or two like boring storylines when it ends but like an actual good storyline when it ends you know what i mean because like e even even the spin-off stories should be better than like the like the messed up ones because like there's some uh messed up storylines that that are just like super short and it's just like oh it's over blah blah blah, blah, blah. he gets on the train and he leaves but like i want something where you know they go into detail of why or how they know they messed up because i knew you knew he messed up like after making like the wrong decision and like um persona 4 if you got one of the alternative story endings but like i want one where it's like more in detail to, to like you know maybe he has an a, a epiphany and like wants to go back or something like that you know what i mean like i don't know i know the one in persona 4 there was a one option uh whenever you're you're chasing kanji and it was like split up do you want to go with chie or yukiko and i remember i picked yukiko and i, I was this is whenever i was let's play but before i stopped and i, I was like oh i pick you because i was trying to you know get in their pants and all that good stuff but and i remember i, I was like that. while <laughs> while i was and commenting i was like oh, i wonder what happens if i pick chie and somebody in the comment section told me that one part no matter who you picked it would have made you go with yukiko so it's like something like that it's not exactly freedom like it was gonna make you go you go yeah it's it like you it, feel it forces like, you with it yeah it made you feel like you had the option but you really didn't yeah because that's what i mean by more interactive because like there's a lot of ports in persona where you can think you're gonna have your like com complete like yeah, yeah, uh yeah, yeah. player freedom where you can actually say or want to do something but they'll force you into something yeah. you don't want to do like give me another pack give me another route i'm a guy that likes options you know like i like when i go to the buffet i want to look at some yellow rice some white rice mm -hmm. some goddamn green chicken some sesame seed chicken some something oh my god now something I want, good now i want chinese dude what the Bruh, shut up this is not the moral of the story like <laughs> i just like options i like preference you know what i mean so give me my own preference when it comes to certain things but like i understand if it's like critical mode in the story and it's getting like to the climax and stuff like that you force me into it yeah but like early on come on now 
Mm-mm. No. Like, they force you to jump in a TV. Like, I told him no. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> it's like, I might not I'm come not back. I'm not with it. Yep, and then I got pushed by Yosuke. Anyways. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed our top five. Again, if you did not see the first five, be sure to go ahead and check it out on my channel. And be sure to leave a like on this video, you know, because, you know, we love you. Bro, did you just kiss your mic? Nah, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. You, you just nasty. No, nah, no. Nah. Anyways, I'm going to go get some Chinese because you know, me hungry. All right. Stay true. Stay real. And stay true. Bye.